I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. All right, guess what day it is? New project day. I don't know if you can see it in the back, but WWF Data East is coming home. Oh yeah. That was my macho man impersonation. I don't, I, if I try it, I'd probably like burn out my throat but have this game since the pre-COVIDs and it is finally time to bust it out. I can't remember if it worked. I do remember trying it at the place. There was a few machines there that we bought at that time. I just don't remember the status of its functionality. So we'll find out tonight. Kevin and Dutch are gonna help me set it up and then we'll get a close look and see what I got myself into, but I am excited about it. I haven't played it a lot, so I can't wait to learn it and shop it and beautify it. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, WWF has made it into the shop and I haven't had a good look at this in a while. It's got some, it's got some issues here and there. The back, of the machine the neck basically is a little chewy but this side is actually not bad all in all okay right? what do you think the coin doors actually pretty minty and this side looks pretty good it's pretty good kevin's just dusting this bad boy off it's been sitting a little bit oh yeah look at this there we go. Look at our contrast here. Oh uh, yeah, there's the before and after. Okay, the back is not too bad. The main issue is here. This looks like, this is definitely swollen a little bit. It's got some water at some point. And, and then we got this and this. Yeah. And that. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. So what does this say? June 3rd, 1994. The serial number is not really visible, but that doesn't matter. There's some operator sticker here or something. Um, as with most Data East, it does not come with the Allen wrench. Or does it? No, but it looks like we got head keys and coin door keys, so... We're in good shape there. Yeah, see, I buy a friggin' 10 pack and I'm down to three, and I still have a few more data east in the queue. But these legs are. The legs are not bad. Eh, I might take that back. But the leg levelers are garbage, so. Yeah, these really probably could use a powder coating. Look at this. Yeah, that's uh. Not so good. All right, well, garnish, like, I'll deal with, with I'll, I'll deal uh, with that later. We'll uh, throw this guy on legs and see what everything else looks like. We are just about to investigate the play field, turn this thing on, see what happens. Shawnee Boy is here for the action. And let's see what we get. Like I said, I haven't looked at this thing forever. So I don't remember anything about it, really. It's got the original Dadies flippers, that's good. These inserts in the front look nice. We've got a lot of dust. That's, uh, yeah, it's been stored a little bit. This play field is looking pretty good. Yeah. That ramp looks okay. I mean, it's metal and thick, so I would expect that. Missing one target decal. I don't see any broken plastics yet. What about this upper play field? So we got four flippers total. Oh, I got a good reflection of the light there. Oh, that's uh, there. Uh, everything's looking pretty good there. Yeah, I, everything looks to be pretty decent. We're not going to really be able to get into the head too easily. Actually, be okay. yeah, we'll be able to take a sneak peek while. in there. Okay, well, uh, so the play field looks all right. Do you want to bust out the keys? I think they're in the box. What do you think, Shani? 
You ready to tag in? Oh, I should have had the flash on the whole time. That would have helped. Oh, yeah, it's one of these weird cylindrical locks. Oh, you, you can probably lose the light. I'd... Okay, that looks all right. So this guy uh, is going to want some LEDs. Look at this. Oh, so close. We can just lower the back leg a little bit and uh, we can probably open that up. Do you want to lift the machine a smidge? And then we can lower the leg. Here we go. You got, got it? it? Okay. I might as well lower this guy a little bit too. Just give us the clearance we need. Oh, the back is a little scratchy because that's worn down to nothing. That's worn down to nothing. And that doesn't exist. And that doesn't exist. So it's got a new Allen wrench for starters and new leg bolts. Oh, and we determined that these legs were not Data East. They tricked me. I thought this label was a Data East label, but these are actually um, short rib System 11 legs. All right, I think we might be able to open Sesame now, see what happens. All right, no corrosion, no corrosion. Oh. Oh, I think I see corrosion. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. I do, but yeah, there is corrosion. Okay. Good thing Brent is available again. I'm gonna probably end up sending this board. It's not that bad though. These connectors are often pretty toasty too. That one looks like it was replaced. It was. I'll have to check all the fuses. I don't see anything else bad, but you know, corrosion is bad enough. Look at this chip. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Okay. Do you got that bad boy plugged in? Plug it in. Alright. Shiny you have a smoke camera. Uh, okay. We'll watch for uh watch for explosions. Tantalum capacitors exploding, fuses blowing. Okay. Two, one. Are you ready to rumble? Yeah. Got to open the door. Uh, where are the balls? Are they in there? They must be. Okay. What does it want? Let's get some volume for starters. I like the speaker panel grills. Uh, they look nice. Did it say one ball missing? Yeah. All right, well, I can, you can grab a ball from that pile there. Just a half decent shiny one and I'm sure it's stuck somewhere from transporting it. Cool, I haven't played this game much at all. So that scoop doesn't look too worn at all. Yeah, this thing will clean up. I don't think any plastics are broken. Okay, let's uh, see if we can turn up the volume too. What kind of, hey, there's a meter on here. Holy shit, 52,000 plays? That can't be right. coin meter maybe that's how many coins went through. So if it's like 50 cents a game, then that would be half the number of plays. Okay, volume, volume. Is it a pretend, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, all right, uh, we need credits. Nice, that's half a credit. Time to rumble, yeah. Yeah, time to rumble, yeah. I will bury you. Oh, that was awesome. I will bury you. Nice, okay. Let's throw on the lock bar. Looks like the lock bar was painted. Yeah. Yeah, so that's gonna need probably to be redone. Oh, it's just the latch is turned. Okay. All right. I just got to check on Dutch for a second here. Let's see ball one on How's that? whirlwind. I don't. Boom. I That's a good ball one. I can't find that ramp. That ramp is the hardest shot in this game. And yes. 
it will reward you very nicely if you can master it. Okay, we got some attract mode. I don't think that's licensed music, so we should be okay. Okay, Shawnee, why don't you demonstrate the first game of Ooh. WWF? Ooh. Oh yeah. We'll find out what's working and what's not in a hurry. Is there a skill shot? Video bonus, long timers, long freeze. Nice, I love that. Matt McGoffin has this game and he invited me in to play it once. I'm like, no, I can't do it. I gotta save it for uh, my first yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. I try not to play games too much that are in my queue so I can just experience it. Video bonus, you know, live for uh, you know, kind of the first time. Have you played this, Shawnee? No. No? Oh, little ball stickage. So, we all do not know the rules, so it'll be fun to figure them out together. Is that switch sticking up a little far? Just leaning on the wall. Well, like, everything seems to be working. So far. I mean, there might be a flaky switch or, or two, but... Solenoid, sound, display, flippers. Hit tag. What is that? Oh, nice. Ooh, that might be fun with color DMD. I don't know how well you can see the gameplay through this reflection. The, the uh... Translate off does reflect a lot of the back box lighting. Oh, here we go. Kevin to the rescue. This might help a bit. Yeah, I think so. Oh, is this a hurry up? Heavyweight tag team intercontinental belt round. And the translate's in nice shape. And I can open the back box, which is sweet, so I can service the machine in its entirety. This will look nice, all LED'd and cleaned up. Some colored clippy posts in there. Tweak up everything. How do the flippers feel? Good. Yeah. Watch Sean, like, get to the friggin' wizard mode, first game, and then I'll be like, okay, time to sell it. All right, uh, we got us, how many balls are in this game? Six. It is six, eh? I thought it was six for some reason. Is there a kickback on the left? Oh. I like Data East's use of uh, you know auxiliary features like the gun and Lethal Weapon 3, the tag button on this. Oh, that's a fun shot. I bet you there's a mode where you gotta like slap the flippers like crazy. That's a Data East thing. Alright, so what is actually happening here? Search for doink. Left hole, center hole, upper hole, or right hole. You gotta find doink. So this is. Uh... Have you been to the upper play field yet? Nope. How do you get there? Right there. Oh, here we go. That flipper is way low. That should be up another like 60 degrees. Oh, uh, the right clipper is a little, little flaky. All right, what's happening now? Oh yeah! Just went to like uh, Asia or something. It sounds like Karate Kid happening. 
Listen. That's totally. Who's the wrestler that's like uh, Asian or Hawaiian or? Which one? Yokozuna. There he is. That makes sense. Pop uppers seem pretty active. Complete for Macho Madness. Okay, so it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff that you gotta accomplish here. Four, eight, twelve things. Each, uh, I think it's each. Plus three of those things. Each line. Oh, each shot is one of those. Okay. Three ball pandemonium. I don't know if it actually says pandemonium. Well, where's the balls? So you gotta find the shot first. Light extra ball, shoot left hole. Oh, this hole here. There's the start mode. Uh, that saucer there is start mode. Oh, and you can start mode in this saucer. There's a saucer hidden over there. Boo! I think it, wa no, it wanted you to shoot the other play field. That's where you start your three ball pandemonium. Uh, okay. Well, I'd say for just uh, plugging and playing, that uh, it's doing pretty good, so. It's been in storage probably been before the COVID time, so you know, like four years or something. All right, we got to play more of this. Okay, we've got Mark and City here playing Royal Rumble. He's got Royal Rumble multi ball going, and he's breaking shit. Pieces flying off everywhere, almost breaking those light bulbs. Actually, if you do break the light bulb now that I'm recording, that would be kind of cool. It's time to rumble. What is happening now? Crush jackpot yeah, lit for jackpot. 20 million. Ooh. Big boss man. Another jackpot. Brett the Hitman Hart. RIP. Joint jackpot now. How many balls you got in play? Still at least two. got a RIP jackpot. We didn't see this uh, multi-ball last night. Ooh, now what? Oh, add a ball. Sweet. So is it just that left ramp just lit for jackpot? I will bury you. Oh, that right flipper is a little bit soft, so. Hard to make that like four foot long shot all the way up that left ramp. No. Oh. Well, I'd say uh, Mark's in pretty good shape compared to my uh, 80,000. 80 million. Let's see if I can come back.